So tonight we are going to make shrimp cauliflower fried rice. This is the recipe and I will post it also in the link for my video. To prep, I'm gonna do two eggs and I'm gonna scramble them up in here and I'll cook them in the pan and set that aside. Here are the shrimp. I'm going to remove the shells from them and um, get them all ready to saute and cook before I do my riced cauliflower. So I try to use pretty large shrimp. Um, I think they're a little meatier than some of the smaller. So this is about a pound of shrimp. So I have removed all the shells from the shrimp and they are ready to go in the pan. So I'm just scrambling the egg in a small pan while my other pan heats up for the shrimp. And then after this cooks, we'll just set it aside. You can see the egg is done and I'm just gonna turn off the pan and let it sit while I cook the rest of the ingredients. So as you can see, I just put the shrimp in the pan. I did spray with a little cooking spray, so we're gonna let um, each side cook for a couple minutes. And then when they're done, I just set them aside and we will cook our cauliflower. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting together all my spices and getting those ready as well. So I have my spices ready and instead of using the um, powdered garlic, I'm gonna use fresh garlic. So I will be adding that into the mixture as well. So the shrimp are all cooked and set aside and now I'm heating up the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Uh, to saute my rice cauliflower. So the rice cauliflower I buy is this one and it um, has nothing in it but cauliflower. Um, and it's frozen, but I usually put it in the fridge the morning of so it's defrosted by the time I go use it. So, so the recipe calls for green onion, but I didn't have any. So I used some of my um, chopped white onion. Um, normally, I would use fresh green onion in it, but as you can see, it's, it's going to be just fine. It'll taste just fine. So you're just going to constantly stir the rice cauliflower for a few minutes, and then we'll add in the spices, the soy sauce, and the shrimp and egg, and then we'll be done. So I am using a low-sodium soy sauce, um, so I have it pre-measured. Following the recipe, I'm just gonna pour it on the rice and then I will saute it just to give you the color of the rice, kind of changing it up a little bit. I've already added all the seasonings and the garlic. So once it gets this nice yummy brown color, I will add the egg and the shrimp back in and I just let it cook for just a little bit longer and then it's ready to serve. Have the egg and the shrimp incorporated in and I'm just letting it cook for a few more minutes and then it's ready. This makes two servings so it's quite a big uh, pan you'll see but it does make two servings uh, full lean and green servings and it's got all your condiments healthy fats and everything in it so if you follow the recipe pretty exact you're going to be right on track with your plan. There you go it's all plated and ready to go looks yummy.